chapter 3, Mishnah 5. The Mishnah now discusses the status of spices as food in regard to, to the laws of Tuma and Meister Shani. Kosht, ginger, the bulbs of fragrant herbs, tia, asafetia, peppercorns, and safflower loaves may be purchased in Jerusalem with Meister Shani money. Although the spices listed here are not eaten by themselves, they are used to enhance the flavor of other foods. This is enough to qualify them as food in regard to the laws of Meister Shani, but they do not become tummy with food Tuma, since they are not eaten by themselves. They are not considered food in regard to Tuma. These are the words of Rabbi Kiva. The next time it disagrees with this distinction. Rabbi Yochanan ben Nuri said to them, If they may be purchased with Meister Shani money because they are considered food, for what reason do they not become tummy with food Tuma? And if they do not become tame of food tuma because they are not considered food, they should also not be purchased with Meister Shani money. The definition of food should be the same for both Meister Shani and for tuma. Either these spices qualify as food for both purposes, or they do not qualify as food for either purpose.